we worm so long so wet so round you're such an awesome I first conceived the idea for the Wrigley worm when my children were at school so we're probably talking about 15 years ago and I wrote it for them and I don't think they showed much interest because nothing ever became of it I was listening to the radio and because we're in the week that is National Poetry Week going and for some reason the worm poem that I wrote came to mind and I thought this unlike a worm has got legs you have no eyes you have no ears and no mouth for complaining the words and the lyrics that you will hear in the film are exceptionally tricky to master it's a song that I think children will really enjoy doing the words have a, a natural rhythm when I saw a wiggly wiggly worm the obvious thing for me was that wiggly wiggly worm easily becomes wiggly wiggly worm so it's got naturally got that six eight or twelve eight time once you've got that then we need a nice bouncy tune that goes up and down and perhaps squirms a little bit and the thing i do know about children is they like difficult things theo is one of those and he clearly relishes it He's picked it up incredibly quickly, as we expected him to, as we've worked with him before. He not only uh, performs the words, he, he interprets them. There is that phrase within the film industry, you should never work with children or animals. But Theo is certainly an exception to this case. What's your favourite weather? Is it sunshine? He almost has a photographic memory. You can see him looking at the paperwork and just sucking it in. Why the fisher and use you? All a hook is bit you. I, I like that um, it has like four words to describe the worm. Um, four new words every single time. And do you think it's a song that lots of children will sing? Yes. Is it is it an easy song to sing? No. <laughs> In all, I think we've got a song here that, that people will enjoy listening to. Children will enjoy singing. Oh, I hope adults would as well and a song that is memorable. You'll whistle it once once you've got it in your head. It, the Germans, of course, call it an Ohrwurm, which is an earworm. And an earworm is the sort of tune that you get in your head and you can't get rid of it. It'll bring a smile to anybody taking part in it or listening to it. And, and you will love Theo's performance. Beautiful worm.